Hey gang, it's Andrew Keenan Bolger, Keenan Blogger on Instagram, and the question I get asked more than anything else, besides when is Newsies coming back to Broadway, is how do I edit my photos? I've spent the past year tinkering around with my editing style to achieve a very specific teal aesthetic, and now I'm so excited to share my preset with you so your photos can have that signature Keenan Blogger look. I've turned it into a Lightroom preset, which is now available to download on my website. For you photographer newbies, Lightroom is, in my opinion, the very best photo editing app. And a preset is a predetermined position of the sliders to achieve a specific look. Get it? Preset? Having a preset has saved me hours of editing, where once I had to adjust the contrast and color value and tone curve of every single photo, I can now just throw a preset on any picture, whether I take it on like my DSLR or a point and shoot or a mirrorless or, or just my iPhone, and I'll get that professional signature look in just seconds. So the other question I get asked all the time is, why all the teal? Well, it's actually a simple and somewhat scientific answer. Uh, I mean, personally, I just love the color, but there's actually an objective reason why images look so good when they're color graded this way. If you take a look at a color wheel, you'll notice that all skin tones, regardless of race, fall into the orange portion of the wheel. So when I'm editing, I often try to bring out these colors and make them more vibrant. Now, if you look directly across from the oranges, what color do you see? Teal! Yes, it's the color farthest away from our skin tone. So when you pull out the teals in your clothing or background or whatever, it really makes your skin pop. So when you're scrolling through Instagram, teal and peach photos, they just pop out. I know when I started using this editing style, uh, my views and my likes went like way through the roof. And it's my guess if you start using this too, you're really gonna get people stopping and noticing your content. So now that you know the why, let's get into the how. For this tutorial, I'm going to be color editing in the Adobe desktop version of Lightroom, which you can get on their website for a small subscription fee. But they also make a free mobile version that you can do on your phone. Um, I'll throw a link in the description of my tutorial on how to use my presets right on your phone. Totally free, no computer required. The first thing you need to do is download my preset. You can buy it on my website and it'll download right to your computer. Okay, so go ahead and open the Lightroom app and you're gonna go to File, Import Profiles and Presets, and uh, you're gonna find the location of wherever you downloaded my preset. So uh, I saved mine to desktop preset images, and it's called tealkbpreset.xmp. So click on it, click Import, and you'll now notice if you go to the Preset button, um, under user presets, scroll down, I've got a few others here, uh, you'll see the teal KB preset. So you wanna just click on it and you'll see immediately it has added the preset to this image. So this already looks pretty great. You can also, if you want, um, right above the enter return key, uh, there's like a straight slash and this can go to show you your original and you toggle it again and it shows you the corrected one. Um, so I like this. I feel like I would maybe just make it a little bit darker. Uh, so I would go up to here to light and exposure. Um, it's a little bit bright for me, so I'm just gonna move it down. Um, yeah, and honestly, I think that's pretty much ready to go. That looks perfect. You'll see the teals are really brought out. I think the skin looks really nice, super sharp. Uh, if you go in, you'll see like how good it looks. There's a little bit of grain that I added. Uh, looks pretty sharp. So the great thing about this preset and kind of a secret that I'm revealing to you today is to get that teal aesthetic, you don't only have to photograph teal things. Really anything in the blue or green world can be pushed into teals. Okay, so we've got this image right here and you'll notice uh, I'm gonna throw on the teal preset. Uh, and you know, it's meant to make the teals a lot brighter, but because there's not really any teal in this picture, uh, it's only making it a little bit more vibrant. So what you can do though, is you scroll down uh, to the color mixer uh, and you're gonna click on this actual teal circle. And uh, instead of taking it more in the greens, you can actually slide the hue over to the blue side. So now you'll see it's like this really nice kind of peacock teal color. Um, that I really love, and that would work super well in my aesthetic. 
if you toggle back and forth. Yeah, that looks awesome. I'm even gonna honestly move it a little bit more. And uh, I think I'm gonna bring the luminance, which is brightness, up a little bit. Um, yeah, so check the before and after. Looks awesome. So this preset is optimized for people shooting raw photos. It's basically a huge file that you shoot with on your point and shoot or mirrorless or DSLR and it has the most color detail. I'd recommend anyone who's serious about photography to shoot in this format. It can usually be found in the menu of your camera, and if you're having trouble locating it, check your user manual. Uh, I'm gonna show you just how powerful raw images can be coupled with the flexibility of my preset to give you the best possible image, even if the image doesn't look totally amazing right out of the camera. Okay, so let's look at this third image. Uh, good image like it's pretty well balanced but um this does not fit in my aesthetic at all there's truly no teal in sight uh so what i'm gonna do is first throw on the preset um ah see this looks crazy um and it's because it was shot uh right kind of at sundown um so it obviously looks very blue so what you're gonna go over to is the temperature tab and uh, you'll just slowly start dragging it a little bit closer, warming it up a bit. And as you do that, naturally, you are going to start seeing some teals emerge, like really right here in these flowers. Um, the, the whole like foliage just has a nice, rich kind of like viridian uh, blue-green effect. Uh, and I, I really like this. I would also probably... Uh, lighten it a little bit, uh, bump up the exposure um, up here, and yeah, I, I really like this image. I think this is beautiful, especially the before and after, like, I'm super happy with this. So that's it! Going forward, if you want to maintain this teal aesthetic like me, I encourage you to keep your eyes open for great teal places to shoot, or teal clothes, or teal props, or anything blue and green, because I just revealed all my secrets. And anyone who follows me knows I love interacting with you guys, so if you download and use my preset, be sure to tag me using hashtag TealKBPreset. I'm going to be following that hashtag, and from time to time I'm going to throw some of your favorite photos up on my story. So thanks so much. Reminder, you can download my preset in the link below, and I look forward to having you guys help me paint the world teal.